Anti-corruption agencies in the country are strongly pushing for an amendment to the country's electoral laws to compel political parties to disclose their source of funding for campaigns ahead. Executive Secretary of the Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition, Beauty Emefanati, says political parties disclosing their funding sources will help curb vote buying and over monetization of elections in the country. There's more in the following report. In December 2024, Ghanaians will head to the polls to elect the next president and members of parliament. A major concern for stakeholders in election, especially anti-corruption agencies, is the over-monetization of elections as the cost involved in contesting political office in the country continues to rise. The executive secretary of the Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition, Beauty Emefanate, believes political parties must disclose their funding sources as a way of curbing corruption. When you look at the cost of elections, um, it is mind-boggling how one candidate will be able to generate those funds uh, by themselves without necessarily being funded from other means. And unfortunately for us, our Political Party Act does not provide us with a transparent process where we even identify people who are political financiers. And that is why as Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition, we continue to insist that if we don't do anything about our asset declaration law, we are joking in this country because when people come into uh, political office, they come in, some are even indebted, but they come to use our um, public office to pay off their debt. But because our asset declaration laws are weak, we are not able to understand or appreciate how they come into office. And we are not able to even verify the asset declaration they put in. So that is why we are advocating that. And we are hoping that the Nanado government, before its term elapses this, uh, the, the coming election, it should be able to pass the conduct of public officers bill. That will help us to verify asset declaration. The capacity building workshop organized by the Ghana Anti-Corruption Coalition in collaboration with the Ghana Integrity Initiative and African Center for Energy Policy uh, with funding support from the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office seeks to enhance the media's capacity to contribute to the fight against serious and organized crime during elections. Beauty Emefanate underscored the role of the media in fighting serious and organized crimes during elections. So we want uh, journalists to understand these things, these connections. So today we had this uh, training targeted at journalists helping them to understand what, when we say serious organized crime, what exactly is serious organized crime? When we also talk about electoral offenses, what are they? So that our journalists will be well armed to be able to sensitize the general public in their reportage and also to be able to identify crucial places in their uh, investigation and then on, on at these things. You know, until we are able to expose the corrupt, uh, Ghana will lose. And so we need to work together, we need to arm our journalists to expose those who are behind uh, illegal activities. And if they are using it to fund um, electoral um, processes or political uh, elements, then we can be able to expose them and, and, and also name and shame them, and if possible, prosecute them. Team lead for Fact Check Ghana at the Media Foundation for West Africa, Kweku Krobi Asante, indicated the training is important to equip journalists ahead of the elections. Essentially, around the elections, you know, there's a lot of spending, you know, a lot of corrupt, corruption-related and organized crime-related um, issues that, that come up because elections here in Ghana comes with a lot of investment, people pulling monies here, you know, stuff like that, kickbacks, vote buying, vote selling, and, and all those conversations. So it was important that we bring all key um, 
um, stakeholders to come and share thoughts on where journalists should pay attention to, how they should understand these issues, how they should report these matters so that we can help reduce you know, the incidence of these corruption, rela election related corruption and serious organized crime. <laughs>